Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3. I'm Squee, this is Piff. What? That's Nom, that's Cell. This is the Dragon Ball Warriors versus the Android. Let's do this! Woohoo! We're gonna have to talk about our opening screen. <laughs> yeah, man, nailed it. <sighs> I think I think they just keep getting better and better. Um I mean, let's be fair here. That. I have had years to hone it, you know. So it's it's all right. You guys can't get on my opening level. <laughs> oh my god, what am I saying? I can't even fake narcissist enough for that. Cell versus Nom. Oh hey, Piff, did you know I took every single Vegeta skit ever made and put it into one video? Yes. <laughs> so it's like an hour and a half of Vegeta. Nice dodge, oh, Nom. I noticed. But I have to say, you missed a few... D I think you, like, pulled out that a few times during, like, matches and things like that. Pulled out what? The, the Vegeta thing. Oh, I didn't add those. No, I'm just talking about the skits. You know, the things that I wasn't ad-lipping, so it was actually kind of good. <laughs> uh, you know what? Well I done, think... guys. Well done, by the way. You, you, way to way to live the dream. <laughs> charging you can just water. move slightly above the water and no. then start charging. They are living the dream, Pip. You leave them alone. But I don't want to. No one in Dragon Ball Z can attain a higher level than charging up very, very slowly. Mm -hmm. You know, so you are an android, technically. But, uh... You don't get the same benefits. Nom, I'm getting trashed over here. Which is surprising for Nom. Nom is usually the person who does the whole trashing thing. Uh, well, he's not what he used to be, that's for sure. Um, he was pretty meh last season. And uh, the truth of the matter is, Nom... Uh, no, I'm not saying he's bad. He just wasn't, you know, the Nom. <laughs> Yeah, I think right. he was still the Nom. Um, but the thing is, though, this is a nice counter for him. Nom is mostly melee, and Cell's got power body. So, uh, yeah, not uh, that hard to understand why he's getting trashed right now. Oh, shit, that is power body. Yep. Oh, no, that, that, was, a, that was a really good counter. Yep. Except Nom is still going. <laughs> Oh no. Uh-huh. Uh, you were saying? I was saying Dom is still going. Like the Energizer Bunny, I don't think anyone can stop him. I think the Energizer Bunny was stopped years ago. <laughs> the, notice how Energizer just didn't talk about it. They just stopped making commercials <laughs> with him. Okay, Goku. You flew through the house to get hit by... Why? What was the point of that? Uh, wow, that's huh. <laughs> Goku. Are you okay? He's going. He's, I don't want to be in the fight anymore. <laughs> Goku, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, besides I, nothing. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I, Goku's getting trashed over here. Uh, wait, why did that- Okay. Why? Good why? counter. Good counter, Goku. That, that was not a good counter. <laughs> that was a good counter. That was launched Pull. from halfway across the field and shouldn't have hit. What is going on here? <laughs> he pulled the tactic of Cell. Oh, he snap. counter moved. Okay. See, that was- Goku finally figured out <laughs> true tranquility. And used it against Ooh. his opponent. Down goes Cell. Yeah, I think that Goku's derp was so bad, it was contagious. Wow, 8,500 points of damage. Punched her in the face. And she counteracts with a B2 of half the power. That's how to win. Well, she's not particularly the strongest, as well as Super is minus one. Yeah, it's true. So that she can charge more. Yes. Very much a B build. Yeah, that is interesting. 
interesting. Chi Chi. They're trying to. From the build, looks like a spammer. We'll just have to see how effective it is. Oh, ouch. And you know, it's not a bad call. Honestly, her B2s are so weak that the percentage drop is not as powerful. Like, like that's one advantage. If you have B2s that are like 5,000 points of damage, you're going to have less of a hit from that super minus one than, say, someone who has 8,000 points of damage. Well, it depends on how quickly you can throw them out. No, my point is, per B2, the, the, the drop in damage is less because the percentage is less. So if you can fire out more, my, my point is putting key two super minus one on someone with weak B2s is um, a better, uh, better gains than someone with strong B2s. As a math person, I'm going to disagree with that. Right. The percentage is less, so there's less of a drop. Well, the percentage is equivalent. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is if you have 10,000 points and you lose 25% of it, then you're okay. at 7,500. If you got 5,000 points and you lose 25% of it, that's less. I mean, that's less lost. Less yes. net loss. Well, in, in, in sheer just plain numbers, yeah. sure, but I mean, if they do equivalent, I, let's just say... I'm not, getting, <laughs> I'm not discussing that part. <laughs> because that puts holes in my theory. So stop that. It's for Hell's Flash! <laughs> Um, huh. 16. Did it happen? I blinked. <laughs> 16, uh, punched Cow away and then tried to grab him. Not right. the best call. Was that the, the crane technique assassin style? Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, assassination style? Did I, what? No. Yes? I don't even know anymore. Wait, did that have two styles? Ooh, no. Oh, that's strike. There's a lot of dodging going on. There we what go. What is going on? There we go. You can't just take off your hands. You need... Okay. And, oh. uh... Hey, baby. Ah, for a second there, I thought 16 put on eyeliner. <laughs> look at this portrait. Look at this portrait. Tell me that's not 16 with makeup. It's totally 16 with makeup. Not... It's totally what? 16 with makeup. I'm not seeing it. That's fine. You don't have to. History will prove me right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Original Dot on Paw, Fingerbris Garage, and Dot on Paw wins out. Noted. Um, we're going to be shifting some power levels in the official uh, Dragon Ball Z power level status. Uh -huh. Um. Looks like Baby is weaker than um, Dragon Ball, the original, before he even became a robot. Oh yeah, totally. Dote on the original paw. <laughs> well, it's General Tao. He didn't get that, that general for nothing. You know, didn't you know most generals are world-class <laughs> combat fighter martial artists? You know, that actually... D does raise an excellent point. How... All, all joking aside, how the heck did freaking, like, uh, Hercule become, like, the world's greatest fighter when there are humans in the world, like, General Tao? Like... Uh, two things, maybe. And uh, this might be in the mythos, I don't know. Hercule might be able to beat someone like Tao. I mean, he is strong for a human. So but it's possible he could beat Tao. We've never seen him. Maybe, but he can't even do energy beams. That's true, but it was clear that he won the World Martial Arts Tournament on several occasions. Um, it's also possible, too, that he's just the strongest human that they know of. You know, like, in the sense that he's the strongest human because he's won the World Martial Arts Tournament. Nothing saying the tournament hasn't gone down in quality over the years. It's true. I'm just... I'm just wondering where that, like, uh, people in the original series were humans and throwing out, like, energy beams and things. Oh, it's the end of the match. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was... Huh. Uh, good job, androids! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> She's crazy! That was fast. That was... That was a bit one-sided, oh. have to say. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well done, androids. Good job. On to match number six.
We have match number six. There we go. <laughs> the Namekians versus the Gohans. Um, two teams. Very exciting teams. Teams that deserve <laughs> teaminess. Squid. Team, team, <laughs> team, 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 team. Let's do this! Nailed it. Totally getting better. So, the Namekians versus Gohans. Mm -hmm. Go I've always thought Gohans did well, and now that they're in the higher rankings... <laughs> I can definitely say that with great confidence. Yep. Now, the Namekians, they've definitely had their ups, but they've also definitely had their downs. They're, they're, uh, they're one of the weaker teams, and I'm, I'm saying that as a broad general statement, and there's a lot of teams in this league, so that's really just comparing, like, a really good team to, like, the freaking Titans. Well, now, here's the curious question. When you say one of the weaker teams, do you mean weaker in just stats or weaker in performance? Uh, in performance, actually. Um, there's actually been many teams I've done really well that actually have just straight weak stats. Like, they, they don't hit as hard right. as the rest of the characters do. Um, now, there's a few of them in the this particular team, like uh, King Piccolo and uh, Tambourine. Uh, but they, those are actually one of the, the two of their like stronger characters, which is actually one of the more amusing parts about this particular team. Um, but like, if you compare it to the Gohans, uh, which I would say a good majority of their characters are like solid butt kickers. Right. Um, it's it's hard to really say that they're in the good category. I'm, I'm, I'm probably saying this in more of like a 50-50, like being good is like above 50% of the teams. That was like the worst thing you could have done, King Piccolo. King Vegeta. King Vegeta. Hey, hey Vegeta. Mm. Oh, hey Vegeta. When did you get here? Uh, Wait, what you are know, you doing on Team Green? He's, he's a Namekian. Oh. <laughs> Did they fix him too? <laughs> um, the thing about the Namekians, and I was I was thinking about this earlier. They've had players do really well um, for consistent time. Like they had times where Late Piccolo was consistently good. Times where King Piccolo was fear. Uh, you know, times when Early Piccolo was consistently good. The problem is, it's been very rare to see them consistently good at the same time. Yeah. The Namekians are, 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 they have one or two really good players, and that changes kind of who that is. But it's been hard to meld them as a team. Strong single players, but they're, they, they seem to have a lot of trouble, um, and through no lack of effort, of course, but seem to have a lot of trouble getting that team mentality. Mm -hmm. that takes to win matches. But that was the one thing about the Namekians, is if you could say almost more than any other team, they almost, I mean, on a regular basis, brought it down to the line and just could not win it. It is very true. Um, I, I, I always root for them whenever, like, they're, they're on. It's just, I, I don't see them as a, a consistent winning team. Now, I don't think that's really any fault at all of, of the people who are of the Mechans, like the team, the, the coach, all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just really hard to work with them, because um, the, the the meta, let's just say, of this particular league keeps changing, and it's hard for them to really catch up because they haven't really cemented like a really good, solid like uh, character to really like take the league by storm right um there there's there's no like um let's just say for extremes like a team gohan um on their team and they only drink water i mean that can't be a good diet it's true by the way let me just point out here how about it for frieza soldier frieza yeah. soldier um doing surprisingly well Against, against Super Saiyan in Vegeta, who is an yeah. incredibly powerful character. Absolutely. 
both of them at max power. That's one thing that I think that uh, that, 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 that Team Namekian was a great pickup for them. Uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta could really do wonders for this team. Yes, absolutely. If and the least... soldier lets him, good god. <laughs> It's it's actually kind of amazing what uh, coaches and and uh, people who help out with such things. Um, is he gonna tag? Uh, I don't oh, know. Should tag right there. Should. Oh no. Ooh. Should tag. I don't think he's gonna. He's gonna get punched. Oh get punched no. You know, good, good oh. Punching. And down goes Frieza. Oh. <laughs> wow. But for Frieza Soldier to take Vegeta down like that. I'm yeah. impressed. Well done, Gohan. Well done. Uh, instead of anything you could have done, punch him in the face, hit him with the first blast, B2, anything? Nope. Frolicked around. Oh my gosh, Vegeta, what is with you? <laughs> you're at like no HP and you're going at him like, I got this. Nebekian! <laughs> <laughs> He's like really into this. <laughs> I found my home. But yeah, I, I'm really hoping that um, a free agent, like the the free agents, are actually used a lot more as key factors in the uh, in the upcoming um, weeks, as well as later on within uh, Dragon Ball Z League in general. I think that's a an excellent addition that you can really like tactically. Um, utilize a lot of the different characters. Maybe even fill something that you need in your team. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean, there are teams out there that, that treat the free agent um, as a throwaway to save more money for the boost store. And that's not an un... That's not a, uh, uh, it's a valid strategy if you've got a strong team to begin with. But for weaker teams, free agents could be uh, could be a breath of fresh air that your team needs. Mm -hmm. I was also thinking, like, certain teams uh, have a strong emphasis on, like, one thing or another. It might be good to bring in that variety so you can actually... Well, okay, for people who may not know this about the teams and whatnot, each build that a character has, um, it, you can have it as free as you like, except you can't have too many multiple Bataras on each person. So if you have a team full of people that are really good at B2s, you would have um, not that great um, options for like um, filling out your team because everyone needs that B2. Right, yeah, you um, can't put guitars. B2 pluses on everyone, right. Yeah. Um, so a good way to, to counter that um, tactically as, as, a, as a team is to bring in somebody who might be a really good brawler. Uh, might I point out, real quick, just a nice note. Adult Gohan, in his base form, we've never seen this before. He's always started off as a Super Saiyan 1. I'm really curious to see what the Gohans found that gave him confidence enough to keep him in his base. Um, was it that light grenade? Maybe. I don't know. Is that an ornament? Wow, was it the 11,000 point Kamehameha that's a cutscene move? Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna say it's not his ultimate. No, 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 it's not his ultimate. But the thing is, not only is Adult Gohan in his base form, he has Broly's ring on. They don't want him to transform. They are very confident in this transformation. Yeah, now I know that he was a free agent last season, um, but I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they're wrong in any way, shape, or form. I'm just, I'm surprised. Impressed. I am also surprised. Because, I mean, I know uh, base Gohan wasn't bad last season, but I, I, I in my memory, I, I just think of adult Gohan as Super Saiyan 1 and think of how powerful he was. So, and of course, obviously the Gohans knew that too. They, they're not blind. So, to choose base form Gohan, I'm excited to see what he does this season. He's doing really well so far. Yeah. I think he's got a really strong moveset. He's got, yeah. Lysenko uh, is really well done. Or what is it? Not uh, Lysenko. Madon Wave. What? I didn't <laughs> see the name of it. That one. Madden! Madden! Madden. Mm. The really powerful move. 
decent range, very large area of the hitbox ratio. I'm not good at the tech speak. Right. He hit good, damage great. Good job, Gohan. Gohan, good. <laughs> Gohan, fight good. Explosive mana. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. That's better than a Madden. It's explosive. Still, Namekians with the advantage here. I don't know about that. Uh, definitely with the advantage here. I don't, I don't know about that. Uh-huh. I just don't know yeah. about that. Kid Gohan coming in. You know, I was saying right at the beginning of this, like, I thought very highly of the Gohans. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, me too, definitely. They're a very powerful team. What is it? The, the, uh, the Namekians just taking him down wow. bit by bit. A very powerful win for the Namekians. And this might be the season where they are able to push through and get that win. Well done. All right, guys, that's it for episode three. Hope you enjoyed it. One more episode of the week to go. Episode four, where we'll see the Rugrats versus the Valkyries and Muscle versus the Blades. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>